Hey everyone, my name is Heba, and it's been several months since I've sat down here to talk about makeup. And if you haven't been following along, the reason why is my family and I, we went to Egypt and we vlogged our trip. And I'll link those videos down below if you wanna check it out. And travel vlogging, it does take a little bit longer for me to edit. Pretty much it takes a week to get a video out because I have to watch other videos of how to do certain things, editing, and to go through footage and find music to go with that footage. Sometimes I'll go through like three different songs because it didn't feel right with the montage I was setting it up against. So yeah, it does take me a little bit longer, but I finished the vlogs and it's such wonderful memories for us to take our kids and their spouses with us to show where we're from. But anywho, I am back here and I'm going to give you some updates just real quick. I hope it's going to be really quick of the makeup that I was trying while I was editing those travel vlogs. And most of these were from the Black Friday haul video that I did before our trip. So these are going to be just kind of like speed reviews, if you will. And I have to say, I am kind of nervous sitting back in this chair and I'm trying to remember how I did things. I hope the lighting is good. I have my mic on. Yes. <laughs> But it does feel good to sit here and talk with you guys about makeup. I missed you. And I hope that y'all were here for the travel vlogs and here for the makeup. But hopefully everything will go smoothly in this video. Because like I said, it's been a while since I sat down here. And if I mess up, I mess up. Hopefully y'all won't catch it. <laughs> I'm kind of sweating right now. Do I have anything to kind of... Whew. <laughs> It's been a while. So I did try these products in between editing the travel vlogs. And again, these are just gonna be speed reviews because I have quite a bit of products here to show you. And let's go ahead and start with eyeshadow palettes. And I think I have a dozen eyeshadow palettes here or close to it. But let's start with the one that I'm wearing right now on my eyes. It's by Huda Beauty and it's the Empowered Palette. I did buy her Pretty Grunge Palette and I really liked it. So I wanted to see what other palettes I might like. And this one and the other one, the naughty one that I'll show you next, are the ones that I did pick because I kind of like the colors, even though most of these colors are kind of similar to other palettes I'm going to show you. I really do like her formula and I kind of like the shades in here too. There are two cream shadows in here, so it has that creamy emollient to it. Probably could use it as a base or just like an all-in-one, just a one-and-done type of shade. But the one I used was this kind of a, a purpley one, Worthy. I put that one in the outer corner of my eye. Very easy to blend out. Then I put some of the powder matte shades to kind of blend it out. And then I used this shade Visionary, this kind of a dual chrome here. And then this beautiful kind of a bronzy shade, Manifest It. And I have to say the Huda Beauty formula is very nice. It blends out, it's very smoothing on my lids. The metallic shades are again, very smoothing. It's not glittery, it's not chunky, it doesn't fall. So it was really fun playing with this palette. And it was also fun playing with the Naughty palette. This one's more of a rosy tone palette. And there's one cream product in here. And I don't know if you can see, there's kind of like little beads in there, but it's more or less clear. You can put this as a base maybe. I mean, maybe it has a little bit of touch of pink, but I didn't try this shade yet. I've been trying a lot of the other palettes that I got. And again, the mattes are very creamy, blendable, the metallics not too chunky. Now there is one shade that I kind of wanted to play with. I was debating to use this palette or the Empowered palette because in this palette, I wanted to try this butterfly or like this dual chrome shade. It has purples and blues in it, but I opted for something safe, bronze, and golds but one time I will use this shade let's see it's called passion so I do like the eyeshadow palettes from Huda Beauty and always try to find things on sale because these palettes go on sale quite often now the next one is by Sigma it's Disney Beauty and the Beast palette this one was gifted to me by a friend with several other things here from the Sigma Beauty and the Beast collection and Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney movie my favorite and so you know that I'm going to love the palette the shades in here are very Beauty and the Beast like. It's got the golds like her dress. It has the blue like Beast's, I guess his tuxedo or his overcoat dress coat. And this was the first time that I've tried Sigma eyeshadows and they're not bad. They're very pigmented. Again, very blendable. The metallic shades are nice. Some of them are a little bit chunky. 
So there is some fallout with it, but I always do my eyes first and then just wipe it off. But again, beautiful eyeshadows, beautiful theming. Love the cover of it with the rose there. So yeah, I did have fun playing with this palette. Now this one by Dose of Colors, she's a 10. I only used this one once, so I really can't give much, but the shades that I did use, I can kind of tell. I do like the theming, she's a 10, because this, I guess, was their 10th anniversary of Dose of Colors. And this is what she's a 10 looks like. It's very neutral, has some warm and cool tone shades in here. Doesn't have many special shades in here, but I do like the Dose of Colors formula, their five pan palette. The mattes are very creamy, very pigmented, very blendable. Now, some of the metallic shades that I use, they are a little glitty, uh, glitty, uh, glittier. No, glittery? <laughs> I knew I'd forget some of the lingo here. Yeah, the metallic shades are quite sparkly, quite glittery, and you can kind of see the texture of it on my lids. Just the two shades that I use, and I'll put a little video of the look that I did. But you know, I do like the shades in this. Very pretty. I love this shade, Anna, and I wanted to use this kind of a taupey shade. Let's see, 10 years. This one right here. I love the shade. So I do like She's a 10. I wish I used more of her, but so far, not bad. Three eyeshadow palettes from Isom, the number one, the number two, and the number four. They just came out with number three. It's an all matte palette, and I don't think I'll be picking that one up. But let's start with number one, the Balance palette. So you just push it out here, and here are the shades in this palette. It's all matte. So you have some browns, some warm tone browns. You have some cool tones and some plummy shades here. So you got your different intensities, light, medium, and dark in each column. Now these are expensive and I played with them several times and I do like them. I think for the price you can get something a little bit better or about the same for cheaper. Because I want to say that the mats is $80, I think. I did find these on sale during the Black Friday event, but it is a little expensive. Now let's look at number two, Intensity, and this one's an all metallic shade palette, and they're very nice. The metallics are not glittery like the Dose of Colors one, and again, I do like how they have the different intensity with each column. So you have some neutral tones, warm tones, and cool tones here, and I do like the plump shades in here, and Love this one for an evening look and some of these for an everyday look. And the metallic shades, I want to say they're $120, so it's very expensive. But again, for the price, I think you can find something a little bit cheaper. And then the other one that I got is number four, the Elevate pigment palette. And this one's a little bit more colorful than the number two. So you got your pinks, your oranges, greens, purples, and blues. And I did use the blues for a look. I don't know, blues are really hard for me to do, but I'm still learning. I'm still learning. But the other shades are very pretty. I love the purples and the greens and kind of the golds and the pinks. The blues, it's, you know, I just need more practice with it, I guess. But again, these are nice palettes, but a little bit on the expensive side. Now I have this palette from Florises, and I did do a video on this, just like the ones I did with the Sigma Beauty and the Beast. I did do a video on that, and I'll link that one down below. And I have to say, the shades in here are very pretty, and also the artwork. Very pretty, very intricate there. And I have to say, I do like this palette. I do like this palette. The shades, they blend out very nicely. The metallics are not very chunky. And I do love the packaging, how it's magnetized. 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 <laughs> And let me show you the cover of this one. Very pretty. Then I have this palette from Loon and Aster. It's Celestial Nudes. Loon and Aster, I believe this is the house brand of Blue Mercury. This one's very pretty. You only have eight shades in here, and I would say these lean more cool on my skin tone, but the mattes just blend very well, and the metallics, this one's my favorite shade right there. Yeah, great for a one and done. And whenever I see a sale with Luna and Aster, I may check out some of the other palettes that they have because I was quite pleased with the eyeshadow formula in this palette. Now let's go with some Chanel and I have the Le Beige Cool eyeshadow palette. This came out in their winter collection. And I have to say, this one's such a pretty palette. The one problem that I have with this palette is that the pan size is too small for my fingers and maybe for some of my brushes. But I do like the shades in here, very pretty, very wintry-like. And I did do a video with this collection of the eyeshadow palette, the blushes and the primers. But the Chanel eyeshadow palette, very pretty. 
Now these two eyeshadow palettes, they were not in the haul video. I did pick them up. I think after we came back from Egypt and it's by Burberry, the eye quad. There are four new shades and I just picked up two. Let's start with this one, 02 Dusty Caramel. And I did do a look with these. So this one's Dusty Caramel. And I have to say, I don't know, they weren't my favorite. It wasn't like the big nine pan palette that Burberry came out with. I believe last year, I have that one, I love that one. But the quads, I don't know, there's just something about them. Maybe the shades are just kind of mm, on my skin tone. It just didn't do it for me, these eyeshadow quads. And the other one that I got, 03 Blush Beige. This one has a little bit more color than 02, but I don't know, it's just not my favorite. And I don't think I'll be reaching for these a lot. Not like the bigger Burberry palette. I will play with these more just to make sure, but honestly, these palettes from Burberry, the eye quads, just not my favorite. And there's one other thing here is how you open it. I don't know if you can see the tab. It's very thin. You have to really get your fingernail in there to open it up. And sometimes it can kind of jab your fingernail or underneath your fingernail. So I'm kind of scared every time I open it. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the Dior palette. I believe when they reformulated their eyeshadow quads or quince, their eyeshadow quince, they came out with that same type of tab. I hope you can see that there. It's very thin. Look at that. So your fingernail could just easily go underneath there. But like I said, I will play with these some more, but so far it's not my favorite. The others that I showed you, I do like more than these by Burberry. And these aren't cheap either. And I think that's all the eyeshadow palettes. I do have two eyeshadow creams. These are by RMS Beauty, the Eye Light. And I kind of like these. I kind of like these as a one and done. Love the two shades that I got. This one is Spark. Let me just kind of go ahead and swatch these for you. This one's kind of a more of a bronzy shade. So this one's Spark. Does have a metallic finish to it. And the other one that I have is Supernova. Oops, that one came out really fast. I got a big glove of that. Yeah, I got a big glove of it right there. So let me just kind of swatch it there. And this is more like a taupey bronze. There we go. These are very creamy. They dry down quick and they don't crease or melt away. And I did do a look with each one of these. This is the one with Supernova. And then this is the one with Spark. And I can't remember which one I have on, but I did do like a six hour check-in and you can kind of see that there's no creasing whatsoever. And it does come with a little key like this, which I do like. I have it on this one. So whenever you use it, you can kind of twist it down, but I don't know, you don't need a lot. So it's gonna take a while to use that much for it to be twisted down. Does that make sense? Because you really don't need a lot, really don't need a lot. So the other one that came with Spark, I'm gonna use this one for my toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I really do like the eye lights and whenever I find a sale, I want to get one or two more. There's an olive green one that I wanted that I thought I got when I ordered these, but yeah, I want to get one or two more when there's a sale. Now let's go for blushes and this one, Sigma Beauty and the Beast. This is the face palette. It comes with two blushes and a highlight. Now I do like this blush a little bit better than this one. Go figure. It looks a little lighter in the pan, but it's very flattering on my skin tone. And love Lumiere as the highlighter in the middle. I think that's a very <laughs> neat idea. And that highlighter is beautiful, beautiful gold. The blushes just melt into the skin, has great pigmentation. But again, this one with the rose, is my favorite and the highlighter. Now I have this blush from Florisys and it's the number 10. Not my favorite. It does have the have the pretty embossing as you can see here, but it's just not my favorite. It's kind of light actually. Very creamy powder, but it's very light on my skin. You know what, let me swatch the Beauty and the Beast palette. So if you can see that this was my favorite, even though it's kind of light on my skin, it's very flattering on my cheeks. This one's pretty too, but I like this one better. And then let me go ahead and show you the highlighter right there. Very pretty, very, very pretty. Then I have this blush refill. This is Kerr Royale, and this one's a pretty color. It's not one of my favorites from RMS Beauty. I think it just doesn't work with my skin tone. It's very pretty, but for my skin tone, I think it's just a little too bright. Now the other blushes from RMS Beauty, Sangria is very pretty. Maiden's Blush is my favorite shade. 
but this one Kerr Royale probably will not be reaching for this one as much as the others that I love from Armist Beauty. But the formula is very nice. You can see it does have a little bit of a of a sparkle to it. Not sparkle, but of a sheen to it. But I'm glad I got it to try it, but not one of my favorites. Now the blush that I am wearing is from Chanel and it's part of their Winter Glow collection. Came out with three and the one that I'm wearing on my cheeks is Coral Givra. Givra. I know I'm butchering it. Givray, but here's what the embossing looks like. It's got a snowflake, and of course you can see it's more corally. Now I do like the Chanel blushes. Very pretty. So here's the coral one. Now I have to say this, you do need to build it up, which is not a bad thing, because if you want just kind of a subtle wash of color on your cheeks, you just need a little, but then you can just build it up to give a little bit more color to it. And I do like it because it looks like that you've been outside in the cold. That's what the healthy glow is supposed to look like. And then I have Rose Polar. This one's very pretty. It's the lightest of the three, but I really do like this one. It's very cool tone. It's very light, but I love how it looks on my cheeks. Like I said, it looks like you just stepped outside from a cold, snowy day. Now the other one is the deepest one, and this is Mauve Glacé. This one's pretty too. I mean, you really can't go wrong with any of these three blushes from Chanel from the Winter Glow collection. Let's finish off the cheeks with highlighters. And I have this one from Florisys, and it's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. And this is number seven, Amber Glow. Anything with Florisys will have this beautiful embossing. And this highlighter does have that amber color to it. Let's see, and let me put you here. So yeah, this one's got some color to it. It's not quite gold. It does have a little bit of an amberness to it. Here's the one from Sigma, it's more gold. And this is the one from Florisys, very pretty. And you just need a little bit to give you that highlight. And the other one's also by Sigma, this is Golden Hour. Now I need to be careful with this because it did kind of come broken. So I can't really tip it over that much. But let me go ahead and swatch you, whoops. This one's very pigmented. This one you just need a little, a little. Let me put you over here. Yeah, that. That will give you the highlight that you want. Next are primers and these three from Chanel, the Winter Healthy Glow Collection. I have Frosty White, Icy Beige, and Light Copper. They blend in nice, they don't sink in my pores, and it does give you that healthy glow to it. All three shades work, but my favorite one is the Icy Beige. This one matches more my skin. Light Copper is a little bit darker, but it will work with me in the, in the, in the, <laughs> in the summertime. And Frosty White's not bad either. It doesn't have that ashiness to it with some of the white primers that I use. So this one's Frosty White, Icy Beige, and Light Copper. Okay, so let me go ahead and just kind of blend these out. Frosty White has a little bit more of a bluish tint to it. Icy Beige is more beigey, and the Light Copper is a little bit more tan, I guess you could say. And the scent of these, the Chanel scent, yes. For concealer, I have this one by Lancome. The Serum Concealer, and I have them in two shades. I did get the darker one first, which is 420W, and I thought it was too dark. So then I got the lighter one. Let's see, this one's 335W. I put the lighter one in the inner corner and the outer corner of my eye. And then the darker one, I just kind of put it all over. I don't know. This concealer is not my favorite. It is a serum concealer and it's very liquidy. So it's not thick. It doesn't sink into, you know, my fine lines and wrinkles. Oh, I think I had primer on my nose. <laughs> it was primer. All right, where was I? I was talking about the concealer. This is not my favorite concealer. For some reason, every time I wear it, it just looks a little wet underneath my eyes, even after I powder it. And I can always see my mascara underneath my eyes. So it kind of gives me that raccoon eyes. So don't like these concealers from Lancome. The Serum Concealer. Now, I love the Tinted Doll Concealer by Lancome. Love that one. But the Serum one is just a little too liquidy, and it just lets my mascara just hits and gives me those raccoon eyes. Now I have several foundations that I've tried and this is by Orsay. I got a little sample pack with three different shades in here and this is the Serum Foundation and this set is called the Serum Foundation Experience Set because it'll give you three shades and the three shades is 40W, 50W, and 55O. I only tried it a couple times, didn't like it, it looked really bad on my face, broke me out. Do not like these at all. I'm sorry to say but these 
these just didn't work for me and my skin. Now this foundation is Cream Foundation by RCMA Makeup, and this is the series favorite palette in Shinto. I believe that there are five different palettes, but this one I figured will be more my skin tone. You can kind of mix and match. You can also use it for a highlighter, concealer, bronzer, mix them up for a foundation. Now I did try this concealer, not my favorite because it's a little bit thick. And I did try some of the darker shades as a uh, uh, contour bronzer. It's a little too warm, but I did use it as foundation. And once I figured out the color combination, it's really pretty. It's really pretty on, but it's a little heavy. So for the spring and summer months, I think it's going to be a little too heavy to wear. But it's not bad. It's not bad because you can kind of mix and match. And again, you can wear it as a concealer, as a highlight, as a contour, as a bronzer. But the shades in here, I think it's mostly, for me, using it as a foundation works best. I also have this foundation by Hourglass, the Hydrating Skin Tint in the shade number 12. I have to admit, this one's not bad. Really do like it. It's very light. The one thing is right now, it's a little dark, but this will work for me once I step outside in the sun for a couple days, then this one will match. Doesn't settle in the pores, fine lines. It's a little bit more medium coverage and it does last at least eight hours long because that's how long I wear my, my makeup. But this one's not bad. Now the one that I am wearing on my face right now is this one from American Woman Beauty. Love this foundation. This is the Baked Mineral Color Tones Foundation and it's in the shade Warm Caramel. And I have to say this is very pretty. It's very close to my skin tone too. I mean, yeah, that's really close to my skin tone. It doesn't take much to apply it on. It looks like my skin. It doesn't settle in any pores or fine lines. I would say it's more light to medium coverage, but I think it's very pretty on. It's not heavy at all, so this would be perfect in the summer months. Very easy to travel with, and I do like this color. Very pretty. Very nice formula on me. Going back to the concealer, you can see that it's just creasing up underneath my eyes right there. Look at that. And the lighter one, it just looks a little gray underneath my eyes because I do have the dark circles. And when you make something light, it just turns gray. And that's probably on me because I picked the wrong shade. The darker one's not bad, but I just wanted a little lighter. Yeah, again with the concealer, not my favorite. Now let's move on to powder. And this one from Huda Beauty, the Easy Bake Powder. Love this one. This is in the shade Banana Bread. Has more of a yellowness to it. This one really tones down the shininess. Doesn't look cakey. Doesn't look powdery. And I can see what the hoopla is about this powder. And I also got this little sponge from Sephora. So do like the sponge as well. Let me just kind of tap out my shininess here especially underneath my eyes. <laughs> but again, this one's banana bread, so it has a little bit of a yellow undertone to it. And she just came out with the new one, Peach Pie, and whenever Sephora has her sale or when Huda Beauty has her sale, I'll be picking that one up too. Really want to try the Peach Pie one. And I can see why this is a cold favorite because it looks really good. I really like it on my skin. All right, let's quickly move on to brushes. This is also by Sigma. This is the Beauty and the Beast brush collection. Whoops. <laughs> Can't go wrong with these Sigma brushes. You got a powder blush one, a foundation one, and four eyeshadows. No, I take that back. There's three eyeshadows in the Beauty and the Beast set. This one came with the palette. It's a uh, dual-ended one. Sigma brushes are very nice, especially if you want the synthetic brushes for creams, liquids, and whatnot. Even for powders, very nice. And I love the, the handle to it because it does have Beauty and the Beast on there. Also like the brushes from Florist's. I believe these were free gifts. This one's a little bit weighted, has a pretty handle there. You would think it's from Beauty and the Beast with the rose, but it's just a flat sheet of brush. And then this one I like because it's a lip brush and you can just pull it, out it comes, pull it down, it goes into hiding. Now for lipstick and the one that I'm wearing is by Loon and Aster. Love the formula and love the shade. Let me kind of remind myself the shade name, Long Walk. It's kind of a brownie nude. Very pretty. Love the shade. And I think it looks pretty on my skin tone. Looks like my lips, but better. Then we have the three liquid lipsticks from Sigma, also from the Beauty and the Beast collection. Very pretty. I think the light one's just a little too light for me, but this one's my favorite. Can't read the name of it. I'll try to write it down here for you, but the formula is very nice and love the color. Let me go ahead and swatch the other two. Again, I can't read the names of it, so I'll just put it on the screen. So these are the three from Sigma. Very nice, very nice formula. 
Then I have the Lip Serum from RMS Beauty. This is in the shade Mickey. Very pretty. Now you need to be careful that you don't twist too high because you can't twist it back down. At least I haven't figured out a way that it does. And this one's Mickey, very pretty. Now, most of these lipsticks do not last very long, but they're very comfortable on the lips, very pigmented, and I do like the shades. Then I have this one from Huda Beauty, Payday, the matte lipstick, another pretty shade with a good formula. So this one's Payday. And then this one by Hourglass. This is in the shade Larch. Again, I love all the lipsticks that I got from the Friday, the Black Friday haul. So this is the one by Hourglass. And the last two products, they're from Florisys, and this is the Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade 502. Let me put you up here. This one's a deep berry, very deep berry red. And this one does last. This one does last. And then the last one is this lipstick, also from Florisys. Love the packaging with this little dangling thing right here. So you just push, and out comes the bullet. And just look at the artwork in this bullet, in this lipstick. This one's in the shade 140. This is more like a pinky red, but these lipsticks do last quite a bit. It's not drying at all. And oh, I have one more thing here, also by Sigma. This is the brush matte, I guess you could say. So if you have the same brush and you wanna use a different shade, you just come here and wipe it off very gently. And this will just take off the excess pigment. And then you can just go into a new shade. And I like that it's double-sided. Very nice. It's football shape too. All right, and I think that is it. And I hope that these were quick reviews. I know this video is going to be too long. Need to get used to doing the videos again. But you know what? It was fun. I missed it. I missed you guys. And I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. And I also hope that y'all enjoyed the travel vlogs too. If you're here for the travel vlogs and not into makeup, that's fine. And if you're into makeup and not into travel vlogs, that's fine too. At least I got a good variety out there. But my husband and I, we love to travel and we love to vlog it. Brings good memories when we look back. And I also love playing with makeup. Well, all right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this more makeup or travel vlogs whichever one you like and i hope that y'all have a wonderful wonderful day and i'll see you next time bye